Hi everyone, and welcome to Unity Reflect. Today we're going to talk about a feature called BIM Object Filtering. So let's jump right into the Unity Reflect review application and investigate. So I have a pretty large data set here. So it's a full hotel and it's got the environment in which it's going to live. And I want to be able to go in and select specific objects so I can get that BIM information from them. So we do have our BIM information uh, button here on the right hand side, which shows us what we have here. So I can click on a certain app aspect. So here it says this is wall. It's a curtain wall and uh, it gives us the information about it. You know, the size, height, etc. whatever we want. As you can see, you can search some of the other options that came in with this model. But again, that's not what I wanted to select. I wanted to select something that might be hidden or might be inside. Maybe it's a structural or it's a beam that I can't really find outside. And clicking through might be a little bit more complex. So let me show you how to do that using our BIM filtering. So we're gonna go on the other side of the application to the left-hand side. And we're gonna click, you see these three buttons in the middle. The one at the top of these is what we call our filtering. So this is our BIM filtering. It takes all of the different, uh, I guess, topics or main topics like a category, document, family, etc., and then it shows us the type that's within those. So as you can see here, I have uh, the ability to look at whatever was uh, transferred with this BIM data. So I can take a look at the doors. You'll notice that they will turn a light blue. I know I have a lot of things in front, so it's kind of hard to see. I have the columns. I have the ceilings. I have roofs where you can see that quite clearly and so forth. I can also go ahead and hide. Let's say I want to look at the doors and, and, and kind of take a, a deep dive into those. I can go ahead and I can hide some of this other content and take a look at just my doors. You can see this has quite a lot of doors inside of this. Uh, we can either have them blue or we can have them normal or we can have them uh, you know, hidden or highlighted. So very quickly I can come here and I can select my doors and I can go back to my BIM data and I was able to then get that information that I needed and then share that uh, with whoever I'm, I'm um, sharing my design review with. So again that is a very very powerful tool to not only be able to view my data but also filter through it. So again I hope this helps you in your design review and I'm wishing you all the very best of luck. Thank you.